Fahrenheit 451, a la schmuck. In Fahrenheit 451, Ray Bradbury predicted a dark future, one lit only by the flames of burning books. And who exactly is burning those books? Firemen. <clears throat> Wait, you say. Firemen burn books? Firemen are heroes, you say. They put out fires. They're the ones who save little old ladies from s'more bonfires that get out of hand. Well, not in Bradbury's future world. In Bradbury's society, books were banned and burned if found. Get caught reading, and your house is a hibachi gone wild. But books weren't just banned. Perhaps even worse, they were essentially forgotten, deemed irrelevant and unimportant. Aww. So is Bradbury's nightmarish prediction coming true? Are books, newspapers, and magazines slowly disappearing from our society? Well, from one perspective, absolutely. Bradbury's society bears eerie similarities to our own. After all, who has time to read, or wants to, when we have to watch Jersey Shore, Guidos and Guidettes focus on their gym, tans, and laundry? Come on, we don't have time to read. We've already gone ahead and replaced Shakespeare with status updates, poetry with Pandora, and Twain with Twitter. Yet despite books being outlawed, Bradbury tells us, Remember the firemen are rarely necessary. The public stopped reading of its own accord. In other words, Bradbury's characters simply lost interest in books, just like us. But wait, you cry. What about the success of novels like The Hunger Games, Harry Potter, and Twilight? If we're not reading, then who's buying all these books? The Hunger Games sold 25 million copies, and Harry Potter sold 400 million copies in 67 languages. Twilight, nearly 120 million copies in our homes today. Proof, you say, that Bradbury's ideas are hooey. We're not reading less. It's only the delivery method that's changed. Why kill trees when we've got Kindles, Nooks, and iPads? And bonus, they connect to the internet. Let's see your grandma's print copy of Weathering Heights do that. So, maybe it's not that we're reading less. Maybe it's just that we're reading a little differently. Novels, maybe. Blogs, sure. Facebook updates, definitely. Twitter feeds, yep. Maybe 140 characters or less are all our overworked, distracted minds can handle. So is our society headed down the dimly lit path of less enlightenment? Or is modern technology helping us forge a new path to knowledge nirvana? Shmup amongst yourselves. Let us know what you think.